Good afternoon. Welcome to the recognition ceremony of the State Seal of Biliteracy with the Sacramento County Office of Education. I am amazed each day learning about the strength and resiliency you have demonstrated during these unprecedented times that continues to surprise us and remind us of our fortitude. Today we celebrate 10 years, honoring Seal of Biliteracy recipients. More importantly, we celebrate you. We celebrate your families, we celebrate your efforts, we celebrate teachers, counselors, administrators, board members that support this effort. We welcome you and applaud your dedication. We are grateful to you for being here and for all that you do each day to stay strong and stay resilient. April is National Bilingual Multilingual Advocacy Month. My name is Graciela Garcia Torres, and I'm going to be your facilitator today. We have a great ceremony for you with powerful speakers, and we invite you to use the chat to celebrate your student. I am also today a proud mother of a student who is receiving the State Seal of Fire Literacy. Santiago Torres Garcia is receiving the State Seal of Fire Literacy for Spanish and French. This is my second son receiving the seal, so I'm very proud. I also like to recognize um, Angelina Venegas, who is also receiving the state seal and whose mom is, was one of the Spanish teachers for my three children. Thank you. The state seal, if we do the next slide, please. The state seal of bilirsi is grounded on the California English Learner Roadmap, which is about English learners fully and meaningfully access and participating in 21st century education from early childhood through grade 12. That results in their attaining high levels of English proficiency, mastery of grade level standards and opportunities to develop proficiency in multiple languages. So in the next slide, you will see that through our time, we have um, had a lot of growth in what we do with the State Seal of Fire this year, we'd like to recognize and uplift those 1,614 students that got a state seal this year so far. We also like to uplift the 71 students that are earning the state seal in three languages or more. And the fact that we continue to collaborate with our 14 districts and charters and more than 50 schools. You will see in the next slide that students get for the seal a recognition for their proficiency in English, as well as a language other than English. And for that, they need to demonstrate that they have a proficiency in those languages by reading, writing, listening, and speaking. And as the county, we offer them a certificate, like the sample you see here on the screen, as well as the state offers them an insignia that goes on their diploma, certifying that they have the ability for, for them to be able to demonstrate that. So at this time, um, in the next slide, we're going to um, be put in the chat a link to the program and publication that we offer at the Sacramento County Office of Education, where all the names of all the 1,600 students are pu made public with the languages that they are being honored and recognized, as well as all the individuals that support this program. So at this point, um, I'm going to pass it over to our superintendent Gordon, who will give us some welcome remarks. And again, we applaud your effort, Superintendent Gordon, of all these years and all the support that you have provided um, for this program to continue. Thank you, Graciela, very much. And uh, welcome everyone this afternoon. It's my honor to welcome you. This is our 10th annual Seal of Biliteracy Recognition Ceremony. Our recognition, of course, is virtual this year. We wish it was in person, but whether in person or virtual, it's a wonderful celebration of outstanding achievement on the part of our young people, the mastering of more than one language. And like Graciela, my oldest granddaughter, uh, several years ago, received the seal of biliteracy. And her proficiency in another language has benefited her more than I can explain uh, in just a few words. We live in this, this rich multicultural society and respect for our diversity as a community, as a state, as a country, as our county. We're proud to rank through much of the 
efforts by Graciela. In the top 10 in the state for the number of students earning the state seal of biliteracy. And as we've seen from world events that unfold every day, it's so important to have insight and understanding of other cultures and to understand and respect them. Being multilingual gives our young people a deeper insight and understanding of their own heritage and the heritage of others. We must remember also that no one succeeds alone and the students we are honoring today have loving and supportive families cheering them on. So congratulations, parents, guardians, and family members. Let's give them, let's give them a round of applause for helping their young people. And let's also thank all of our teachers, administrators, and other school staff who have supported these students in the pursuit of success. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our teachers and other school staff people. I'm proud to say that over 1,600 Sacramento County students earned the biliteracy seal this year. The seal is awarded to seniors who have demonstrated English competency and competency in another language. And in fact, this year, several students earned seals in multiple languages. Besides English, this year's seal of biliteracy recipients in Sacramento are proficient in 22 other languages, and I won't mention them all. And each of these students met demanding state criteria and demonstrated exceptional linguistic skills on exams and other coursework. To you students being proficient in more than one language, as has been the experience of, of my granddaughter, will help you greatly to succeed in our world economy, build your self-confidence and help develop a stronger sense of community. Other countries, most other developed countries recognize that being bilingual is a key workforce skill. And most of them teach, that, teach their young people another language or two routinely. Uh, we do not do that, we should do that. But I think the seal of biliteracy is a great encouragement to a, our young people to seek skill in another language. Companies here in the US need employees who can communicate with a worldwide audience. Our students, our students' prospects for success in the workplace are much enhanced by bilingual skills. So, I want to offer our congratulations on behalf of our County Board of Education and myself to all of our SEAL recipients today. Your accomplishments are impressive, and trust me, they will pay off, not just in workplace skills or workplace opportunities, but in your opportunity to be a strong part of your own community and help build our communities and protect our democracy. And at this time, I'd like, to, I'd like to throw it back to Graciela Garcia Torres, but with my thanks, Graciela does an amazing job of promoting and coordinating the seal of biliteracy program for our County Office of Education. We owe her deep thanks. She is a true statewide champion and leader in her field Thank you, thank you, Graciela, for all the work that you do. And the floor is yours. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon. It is my pleasure to and privilege to be in this position to do the work that I do. As a former and current, actually lifelong language learner, this work goes straight to my heart. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce to you a person that has dedicated her life to making a difference for English learners. Marta Hernandez is the oldest of nine children and is the first generation college graduate and a role model for her siblings who also earn university degrees and are now serving as physicians, teachers, computer programmer, an organic chemist and a doctor of pharmacy. She attributes her family success to her mother who was an unwavering advocate for her children with a strong belief in the power of public education. Her lifelong support 
of the United Farm work Workers and bilingual education has fueled her commitment to, cause, to causes of equity and excellence in education, especially on behalf of English learners. Her 42 years of public education experience at the classroom, school, district, and county levels, as well as her involvement of numerous state committees will serve her well to advance the vision of Californians together. Marta and her husband, Aurelio Jauregui, are the former owners of Evita's Mexican Cafe in Ventura, named after their daughter. She is especially proud of her son, Juan Carlos, who is an attorney and a computer software engineer. Marta Hernandez, thank you for being our keynote speaker tonight. It's our honor. Thank you so much, Graciela, and thank you, Superintendent Gordon. It is such an honor to be here on the 10th anniversary of this amazing event as Sacramento County Office of Education recognizes seniors who have demonstrated proficiency in two or more language, uh, languages. I want to extend my hearty congratulations to the multilingual students being celebrated today, and also to the families, teachers, and administrators who have supported these bilingual scholars to achieve this prestigious award, which will open many doors in their futures. By literacy, and for some multiliteracy, is one of the greatest gifts that your parents and teachers have given you. It might be the most important skill that you possess. Ability to understand other languages and cultures will afford you many opportunities as you become a bridge builder. I do want to underscore the importance of the 10th anniversary of this event. It is important to note that a decade ago in 2012, California became the first state in the nation to award a state seal of biliteracy to graduating seniors. This was an acknowledgement of the economic and social value of multilingualism, the realities of a global century, and of the high level of academic achievement associated with attaining literacy in multiple languages. And now I'm thrilled to report that in 2022, 48 states in the nation, plus Washington, D.C., have adopted a state seal of biliteracy. So California started a national movement, and you are now part of that movement. Scholars, you are here being celebrated because you have a superpower. You can speak, read, write, and dream in two, perhaps three, or even four languages. So why, you ask, is biliteracy a superpower? And oh, that is for so many reasons. You know, biliteracy improves the structure and performance of the brain. We know research has so shown, the worldwide really, has demonstrated the many advantages of learning in two languages. Students who learn another language show heightened executive functions. And you ask, what is that? You know, it's increased attention control, cognitive inhibition, and working memory. There is mounting ev evidence that bi and multilingual people are better at analyzing their surroundings, multitasking, and problem solving. They have a larger working memory, even for tasks that do not involve language. Research shows that bilingual people have an easier time understanding math concepts and solving word problems. In terms of brain structure, they have more grain matter. Your brain actually gets rewired. The bilingual brain is a lean, mean information processing machine. And if this wasn't enough, bilingualism has been linked to a four-year delay of the onset of Alzheimer's disease and other age-related dementias, which is getting to be very important to me. But biliteracy bilit can make you a superhuman. Being multilingual improves your judgment and your social development. Being fluent in more than one language gives bilinguals greater insight into other ways of seeing the world, which increases empathy and openness. A bilingual person understands and values the richness of the world, its various countries, languages, cultures, and traditions, and makes one more tolerant and open to others. 
bilingual individuals embrace the world's diversity and genuinely exercise the inclusion of all. People who speak two languages have two windows open to the world to enrich their lives. When you can speak to people in their own language, you deepen connections and understanding. Therefore, it opens doors around the world, whether traveling through a foreign country or shopping at the local grocery store. Used to working from different perspectives, bilinguals are more likely to be experts at working collaboratively, welcoming other opinions and finding solutions. And these are very important job skills. The ability to conceive the world from different angles helps to inspire thinking outside of the box, which fuels creativity and a life full of new possibilities, self-expression and invention. Students with bilingual skills graduate high school at higher rates, go to college at higher rates, and with certain groups of students go on to four-year colleges at higher rates. You know, with a whopping half of the human population in the world being bilingual, the gift of speaking two languages is vital for both your personal life and your career prospects. Biliteracy also helps to connect with family. For those of you who have another language other than English spoken in the home, maintaining your home language provides stronger family cohesion and connection to your culture and heritage. The development of strong bilingual skills provides the capacity to participate actively in both of your language worlds and to be bridge builders and translators for your families. With the development of strong bilingual skills, your relationships to family are enhanced and access to the wisdom of your heritage culture is facilitated. And of course, biliteracy benefits our state. You know, California needs people with biliteracy skills and cross-cultural competencies to work in and fuel our economy, to strengthen our social cohesion, and to enrich the quality of life in our communities. Did you know that California leads the nation in exports to foreign countries around the world? So there are more than 1 million high paying jobs that depend on California's connections to those foreign markets. Employers in all sectors cite the benefits of having bilingual employees. The advantages they cite include more effective customer service and marketing, the ability to translate and work with diverse clientele and better work relations with diverse coworkers. Globalization makes bilingual individuals more valuable in their future search of work. Bilinguals may also be bridge builders between different language communities, so they are essential for personal and professional networking. And studies show that bilinguals earn more money on average in the United States, and as companies become more international, there's a greater need for employees who are fluent in more than one language. So whether you become a diplomat, an intelligence and foreign policy expert, an entrepreneur, a social worker, or pursue one of hundreds of other careers, by literacy skills will, will strengthen the quality of the services you provide. By literacy, of course, benefits our communities. Did you know that there are over a hundred languages spoken in the homes of Californians? Throughout our diverse communities, the capacity of healthcare systems, social services, government and public health systems to reach and serve those in need depend upon having workers with bilingual language skills and cross-cultural competence. The inability to deliver services respectfully accessibly and appropriately greatly impacts on the quality of life in our communities. This speaks to the need for multilingual Medicare, medical care providers, lawyers and court interpreters, law enforcement officials, public officials and public health workers to name a few. A few. Through these careers, young biliterate Californians like yourselves will help your fellow citizens become full contributors and participants in this multilingual society. I must give a shout out to the most awesome career in the universe, a career as a bilingual teacher. 
Teaching is a highly rewarding career. A career in teaching provides you with the opportunity and privilege to make a positive impact on the next generation. It is said that teaching touches the future. Teachers enter into the profession to maximize their impact on the world. They want to make a difference. Teaching at its core is about helping people. And we all know that education has the power to change lives. Bilingual teachers have a unique opportunity to make a difference in the lives of students. And I am sure there is a special teacher in your life, in your heart. As a bilingual teacher, you can help students develop proficiency in multiple languages. You can help students achieve better academic outcomes. You can develop better rapport with families and you can help students develop their appreciation for their culture and for other cultures. You all understand the importance of being multiliterate. In order to provide all future students the opportunity to participate in dual language immersion, biliteracy, and world language programs so they can reap the benefits of biliteracy, we must have more bilingual teachers. As districts and schools attempt to create or expand bilingual programs, there is an increased demand for teachers with bilingual authorizations. So please consider a career in education. So to sum up, you know, being able to speak and understand multiple languages expands a person's worldview, strengthens the mind and removes language barriers. It creates new opportunities for personal, intellectual and career growth. A multilingual life is extraordinarily rich and it opens a person up to a multitude of perspectives, thoughts and possibilities. Learning more than one language is an asset to individuals, families, and our entire society. I want to again personally congratulate each and every one of you on earning the state seal of biliteracy. It is so important today that every person in the United States be able to express themselves in at least two languages. I hope you can already see that the ability to communicate in at least two languages allows you to build connections with people in your community and between communities and hopefully someday all the way around the world because that is what we need right now in the US. We need more people who know how to build community and relate to other people through having a diverse background of linguistic and cultural knowledge. And you are probably already getting a sense that when, that when you speak two languages, it is not just that you know the words in another language, but you have another set of skills to relate to people and understand where they're coming from. So congratulations for having reached this moment, but I want to say it's time to pay it forward. It's time to use your skills to make this world a better place because that's really what the gift of language is all about. It is about building that better world. Use your gift of biliteracy for the greater good. Use your superpower to be a superhero. And again, congratulations to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you, Martha, for an inspirational. You know, I, you know, I love the fact that you uh, pointed out the superpower that we hold as um, multilingual individuals and also the call for the best profession in the world. So yes, congratulations to all students and their family. And thank you, Martha, for that inspirational um, speech, as well as for your 40 something years of just making a difference in the best profession in the world. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you. And, you know, as stated earlier, we have another um, powerful speaker whom we've invited, as, um, as mentioned earlier, this month marks the Bilingual Multilingual Advocacy Month. And as this work in getting the state seal of literacy took a lot of advocacy. And today you get to see 
two of the phases that work tirelessly to ensure that we have the state seal of agersi in California. And now, as uh, Marta Hernandez mentioned, is now in 48 states. So we're very proud of the work that they have done um, across the state, and now it's expanded to the nation. I'd like to introduce to you uh, Shelly Spingo Coleman. Since the day she became a teacher in 1970, Shelly only taught and worked in bilingual English learner programs. Whether she was a teacher, principal, district specialist, or county consultant, her passion has been working with English learners and their family. Her life has been enriched by her experiences in different settings and communities. She grew up in a home in which social justice was valued and celebrated. As an educator, advocating for English learners became a part of who she is. It was easy to retire from Los Angeles County Office of Education to continue to come to work at uh, Californians together. And leading the organization was her perfect job. We have struggled, shed tears, and rejoiced in our growing ability to influence and create new policies to build multilingual programs and honor the talents and gifts of our students and their families, quote by Shelley. By working in this movement, her lifelong colleagues and friends have become her extended familia. I now pass over the mic to a champion of the state seal of Palirsi, Shelley Stingle Coleman. Thank you, Graciela. It's just a love fest here between you, me, and Martha and all these young honorees. It's such an honor to be here. To the superintendents, the board members, the parents, and the students, it is an honor to participate in the 10th anniversary of the State Seal of Biliteracy Award Ceremony. I want to add my congratulations to every student, every teacher, and school district who supported their students to earn this prestigious award. I will have personal remarks for our students later, but I've been asked to say a little bit about why a state seal of biliteracy and how did Californians together work with policymakers to become the first state in the nation to have a, an official state seal of biliteracy. Just to let you know, Californians Together is a group or a coalition of 20 statewide parent, professional, and civil rights organizations who work to improve programs and services with students for students who are learning English and supporting bilingualism and biliteracy for all students in our schools. Yes, the idea for the seal of biliteracy was to honor and uplift the language talents and gifts you students can now offer to your communities, our state and the nation. But times were very different in the early 2000s when we, um, in California, when we began to do this work. We were in the middle of a wave of anti-immigrant sentiment. The economy was struggling and immigrants were blamed for taking jobs away from citizens. Schools were crowded and low test scores were blamed on students who didn't speak English. The voters passed a proposition that made, that made, that almost made all bilingual programs illegal. Californians together wanted to find a way to change these negative attitudes by touching the hearts and minds of people in our communities and the state. The idea for the seal of biliteracy came from Glendale School District in Southern California. We watched how, they, how their program grew in Glendale from only recognizing Spanish speakers to Armenian, then to Korean, then to Japanese and many other languages. And the pride it brought to students and families when their children were recognized. So why not a state seal of biliteracy, we thought. In 2006, we sponsored a bill and it went all the way to Governor Schwarzenegger's desk and he vetoed it saying that he didn't approve of the criteria that we had written into the bill. So we said, okay, we'll revise the criteria. And in 2008, another bill landed on his desk and he vetoed, again, vetoed it again, which means he wouldn't let it pass. He vetoed it again saying that, well, if we offered a bilingual seal, then 
Other people might want a science seal or a math seal. But what we really understood was he didn't see the value of recognizing bilingualism and biliteracy. But you know, that taught us a very valuable lesson. You always have to have a B plan, a backup plan. And so we decided to work district by district and encourage individual districts like Glendale to create their own seal of biliteracy. And 55 districts did it. So in 2012, when we had a new governor, Jerry Brown, we said, we're gonna send a third bill to the governor's desk. And we were very fortunate that Jerry Brown signed the bill um, uh, to creating the very first seal of biliteracy in the nation. And as you've heard, we can't say it enough, we're very proud that now 48 states have their own state seal of biliteracy. So each of you students are a part of history and changing how we all see the advantages of being bilingual and biliterate. I wanna take a few minutes to share some personal thoughts with our seal of biliteracy honorees. We are living in crazy times, one that none of us ever expected to experience. The COVID virus is worldwide. In the past, there have been other pandemics, but most have never reached the United States. And we've been in the position to helping other nations with these diseases. But today, every nation has mothers, fathers, grandparents, friends, leaders of every walk of life who have suffered and continue suffering from the virus. The world seems smaller and more connected. It cries for cures. And across this globe, people are collaborating and sharing information to find a cure, a cure, to find a cure and treatments. And it is those that can communicate and appreciate the talents of every doctor, researcher, biologist, no matter their race or language, whose hands and minds we turn to are those people who can communicate in multiple languages. It is the same for the, Ill, for the ills of racism and intolerance for those who speak languages other than English. If there was a time when we needed strong young adults to lead us to a kinder, more welcoming and just nation, it is now. Every language each of you speak is precious, but I want to reach out to those students who qualified speaking Ukrainian. Our, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Our hearts are broken for Ukraine and its people. We know, just one second. <clears throat> We know you'll pay, play a very important role as families with children come to California from Ukraine and need our help. So don't be shy, ask us to help and we'll follow you. So today is about letting you know that hundreds of people in Sacramento County and your school districts see each and every one of you as a very important person for the future of your family, our community and this state. And we commit ourselves to you, to making school and our nation a place of joy and safety. This award may not be the most important award that you may receive before you graduate, but I believe it's the one that carries the most responsibility. We know you've all worked hard to graduate and to carry a vision of attending and succeeding in college. In college or work, in college, you will need to study hard, remember where you came from, and be engaged in a voice for the future. Education that recognizes and honors students and their families for proficiency in two or more languages is something each and every one of us needs to support and work to make a reality. It is your responsibility to make sure that your younger brothers and sisters understand how important it is to be proud of who you are and how valuable it is to speak more than one language. I know each of you have dreams and ideas about what you wanna be after college, but I'm gonna make another plug for being a teacher like Martha did. Just think about your favorite teacher and how they supported and motivated you. 
it is a rewarding profession that touches the lives of young people every day. And students need more teachers that they identify as role models and speak their languages. We look to each of you to be our voices and build a community of welcoming and acceptance for those who have come from other countries generations ago and those who are still arriving and want to make our place their home. So excel in college, enjoy your college life, and we hope to see you leading us in the future. Felicidades and congratulations to everybody. Thank you, Shelley. We most appreciate your kind words and your heartfelt message also for empathy for families who are suffering. And so we definitely want to um, extend our uh, gratitude um, for our opportunity to support and also congratulate the students who are here uh, to be celebrated for their achievements. So thank you, Shelley. So we have um, in our next slide, we get to see a graph of 10 years of uh, the state seal of biliteracy and the seals that we have had the honor to offer countywide. Um, this year, we were able to extend a language or add a language because that's what we do. We are very proud that the languages that uh, we uh, are recognizing are also highly represented within our county in our schools. And this year we added Tamil. And the efforts of adding these languages comes from the collaboration and the work that we do with our districts and our charters and the leadership that is local within our coordinators. And so thank you for the support. Thank you for working tirelessly. And in the next slide, you're going to see a short video capturing some images of um, this celebration. And uh, yes, of course, you know, we've done the recognition in person up until 2020. And in 2020, we did a video where Superintendent Gordon did a very um, outstanding message to our students to uplift their uh, and recognize them for their efforts. And then we moved into this mode of uh, virtual celebration and this is our second year. So in this short video, we wanted to show some images of the prior years. Thank you. We hope that you were able to maybe recognize someone, maybe a cousin, maybe an uncle, maybe a sister, maybe a brother. Um, and now, you know, we get to um, start with 
our districts and charters that will have representatives uh, that are here with us. Uh, we have uh, several of our um, representatives here today. And you know, on page seven of the program is where we have the names of the students. And um, we, if we were in person, we would be calling you to come up and shake your hand as you sign the video. Uh, but in, through this mode, we'd like to invite you to uh, celebrate uh, with the family, with the individuals that are around you, and also in the chat, send the positive messages to congratulate each other. So without uh, further ado, let's hear from El Grove. Hello, good evening, and uh, thank you, Graciela. My name is Garrett Lebsock. I am a program specialist in Elk Grove Unified School District, and just uh, really excited and honored to be able to be here with you. Um, first off, I just want to take a moment to uh, thank um, our Elk Grove superintendent, uh, Chris Hoffman, our EGUSD school board members, along with our wonderful program director, Lucy Bollinger, um, for emphasizing and elevating the assets uh, of our multilingual learners and bringing to our classrooms, schools, and communities as a whole the value and importance of being multilingual. While the path to get to this recognition may look different for each student, the impact is incredibly felt for each of them. And it extends beyond just the individual. We know and believe strongly that all students benefit from the promotion of different cultures along with multilingualism. So I'm just honored to be able to share in this with you, with all of you young, amazing adults, um, as you begin to conclude one chapter uh, of your senior year um, and then look ahead to the next. Um, I think just uh, as thinking back through one of our keynote speakers and the idea of this superpower that you have and just uh, being, I want to just remind all of you to enjoy it, uh, embrace it, know that it is such an asset um, and to continue to use it moving forward to, uh, to just affect those around you in such a positive and wonderful way. So highlight um, from Elk Grove this year. Um, we had uh, 313 kids uh, earn the award, representing 13 different languages, and 59 of those students pursued it through earning the, earning the uh, state seal in the SCOE language exam. We had nine students who earned it in multiple languages. Um, from Elk Grove High School, we had Jazji Carr and Ann Tran. From Franklin High School, we had Jinwan Yang. From Pleasant Grove High School, we had Jude Ranmiris, Varneet Carr, and the Wynn fam. From Valley High School, Stephanie Garzon Viscata and Karina Tu and Pachia Yang all earned the award in multiple languages, which is just incredible. So um, with all that said, just wanted to take a moment to also do a special recognition and shout out to all of the teachers that play such a big part in this. Um, it's an amazing job that they continue to do in another unprecedented year, specifically our world language and English learner teachers. Shout out to the counselors and administrators who continue to advocate for students as they look to the next step in their education. Um, and then also shout out to our BTAs, our wonderful translators who play such a huge part in the, the world of our English learners and continue to advocate for those families so they have success at every level of the student's um, education. And then lastly, just a huge, huge shout out to you families. Um, you know, it's evident in you just being here but just the work that's being done behind the scenes to promote and enjoy your student and, uh, and to continue to encourage them in their journey. For you students, um, this is the second time that I've been involved in this process and I'm just every time absolutely beyond um, impressed with the quality of the young people, the quality of our seniors that are taking the next step um, and, and looking forward to what, what comes next. Um, and without that, uh, that pursuit, um, it wouldn't happen, and it just speaks to the people that you are. So congratulations, um, and we just can't wait to see what's next for you um, uh, on your next journey. Thank you, Garrett. Congratulations, Elk Grove Scholars. Most definitely uh, well earned. Um, congratulations. Now I'm going to pass it over to Elena Cabrera with Osmo Cordova. Thank you so much, Graciela. What a pleasure it is to be here in my 10th year of doing the State Seal of Literacy, and it is truly an honor. I um, wanna just, I have a, I wanna start with a couple of special thank yous. It's really important that we recognize those who have supported our students in receiving this award. Of course, the guests of honor are the students and uh, along the way, there's some supporters. So Graciela, you being one of the, the leads, of course, in our county, we're really, Really proud to work with you and, and you give us wonderful direction in this 10 years of working with you. It's been wonderful and what an honor. 
uh, Guadalupe Castellanos is one of our um, special program coordinators here, and she is taking it on and coordinating and getting the information together for students and counselors. Uh, Guadalupe is one of our employees in our district, Taylene Gers, who does a lot of behind the scenes. There's a lot of teamwork that goes into this. Working with our bilingual aides, it's critical, all the language representatives and our counselors, of course, we can't do it without all this whole team because we're supporting these students and our students are not, are doing, are continuing to make us proud. And um, so for supporting the importance and the relevance of our multicultural learnings that they bring to our classrooms, our schools and the communities, um, becoming a state seal of literacy recipient varies by each child, child or student, as you know. The impact, of course, as mentioned in, in Elk Grove, is far reaching and also profound. Being bilingual, as mentioned by both of our keynote speakers, uh, as Martha stated, bilingualism delays dementia. That's a long time away from these students, but I'll tell you what, the fact that we get to keep thinking and engaging throughout our lives because we're bilingual in a longer pro in a longer period, that's wonderful. It builds our empathy and openness. It values richness and all of the, uh, and embracing all the cultures in our world. And as our keynote speaker, Kelly spiegel Coleman mentioned, the fact is that advocacy matters. And it was because of the, the work that you've done along the way that changed the hearts and minds of the and the perception of how we embrace the languages. So kudos to you and the B plan became the best plan, the state seal of biliteracy. So some highlights for Folsom Cordova is that we have 292 seals. As you can see in the trajectory over the last five years, those numbers keep going up. There's great interest among high school students and even before and getting that seal. They are asking questions as young as even elementary school. What does it take? What do I need to do? And what's exciting is we, um, we those 292 seals represent in Folsom Cordova 13 languages. And the students who are, there are students here who earned more than one seal, so two seals, there's 18 students who received two SEALs. Congratulations to those outstanding 18 students. Of course, all of our SEAL winners are amazing. And a really fun fact, an amazing fact, talk about a challenge and, and um, really overcoming a lot of um, you know, learning and really working hard. 98 of our SEAL winners are former English learners. Congratulations to those 98 students. And we wanna continue to see more of our emerging bilinguals truly become biliterate and SEAL winners. Congratulations to them. And lastly, I wanna recognize and thank the staff, the teachers, the counselors, the principals, and their parents for supporting the students and doing an amazing job and building and continuing to cheer them on in their language fluency. Felicidades, congratulations, thank you. Muchísimas gracias, Elena, and yes, congratulations. It has been 10 years since we started this, but at when, this, when the ceremony first started at Sacramento County, I was um, in the district, in a district, and so I started this journey at the district level, I'm sorry, at the county level in 2015, so it's my privilege and honor. And yes, thank you for that. Now I'm going to pass it over to um, Laura. Ariel from Natomas Charter School. Hello, everyone. Um, what a wonderful uh, afternoon this is. Uh, just hearing from all the speakers, um, very touching, very touching. Um, so um, in speaking about uh, Natomas Charter School, um, can you do the next slide, please? Thank you. Um, we are so excited to see our numbers growing over the past years. We only have about um, 120 uh, graduates each year. And um, so we're quite pleased that our numbers have continued to rise um, and that um, we have um, students that are getting multiple languages. Um, usually it's their home language that they're getting the seal of biliteracy in, as well as the world language that they um, are taking um, at school. So, uh, you know, the, this is a group of students who have worked so, so hard. Um, and especially, you know, this group has been learning their languages through the online learning and COVID. And so um, they have really, really buckled down and put their heart and soul into it. And so um, I'm just really, really honored to uh, get to work with them and send them on their way as they go out into the world. Um, but it's definitely a, a special, special group. Um, so we're so, 
so proud um, of them. Um, and then for the families that are here, we will also be honoring our students at our board meeting. So please come out to that as well. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so honored to have this opportunity to uh, showcase our students and a big thank you goes out to um, Gareth Love, who is our uh, assistant principal and has taken, um, taken on the testing and working with the students. And he has been a, just a, a ton of help um, this year in getting this going. So thank you very much. Congratulations to Ms. Thomas Charter. And uh, yes, uh, Laura, thank you for calling out the programs that are offered locally, because those programs are the ones that um, are um, make it happen for our students, right? At the county, we offer an exam, which also make it happen for the high diversity and having 24 languages recognized. But of course it is through your efforts uh, locally in the programs that you offer that um, give us uh, the majority of the state seals because students are going through your programs. So now I'd like to pass it over to uh, Tanya Jarrell with Natomas Unified School District. Thank you so much, Graciela. We wanna start this evening as we honor our scholars by thanking you, Graciela and Stoey for all of your support and for putting together this wonderful celebration. Um, we appreciate your hard work, Graciela, for providing this opportunity to honor our scholars for this wonderful and great achievement. On behalf of Natomas Unified School District Superintendent, Chris Evans, and our Board of Trustees, President Micah Grant, Vice President Jag Baines, Erica Harden, Susan Heredia, and Lisa Kaplan, and our really valuable student member, Nazma Wali Ali, who has earned a state seal of biliteracy this year herself, we would like to congratulate and recognize the accomplishments of our seniors this year. At Natomas Unified, our core values are that we value learning and achievement for each of our students. We value diversity, equity, and inclusion. We value our families as partners in the education of our scholars, and we value our committed, collaborative, caring, and exemplary employees. The State Seal of Biliteracy illustrates and supports each of our core values. Thank you to our teachers, counselors, staff, instructional assistants, translators, testing, and families for supporting our scholars to strive for and reach their goals and encouraging them to value multilingualism. The scholars that we are celebrating this evening exemplify our core values, and we're incredibly proud. We have a total of 163 state seals this year in 16 different languages. Almost half of our students who earned the seal are current or former English learners who entered the district learning English and are graduating proficient in English and at least one other language. We would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our 13 scholars who have earned the seal in two languages. That's up from four students last year. These students are literate in three languages, including English. They have earned the state seal of biliteracy in the following. I'd like to congratulate Isla Ajdari for Farsi and Spanish, Sofia Buchko for Spanish and Ukrainian, Victoria Kurlenko for Russian and Ukrainian, Monib Najibi, Farsi and Pashto, Tiffany Pham, Spanish and Vietnamese, Alina Susu, Romanian and Russian, and Lee Tay, Cantonese and Mandarin. I'd also like to recognize the following students who have earned seals in both French and Spanish. Job well done and congratulations to Berenice Garibay, Isabella Hernandez, Brandon Palufo, Debbie Caro, Selena Rodriguez, and Santiago Gil Torres Garcia. We are so proud of our Natomas Unified Scholars and their accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2022. We are confident that you will continue to achieve excellence in all of your future endeavors. Thank you.
Thank you, Tanya. Congratulations, Natomas Unified School District students. And yes, Santiago Torres Garcia is my son. So congratulations again. I can't say it enough, right? Um, and yes, and I think too, you know, the efforts to the coordinators in each one of the districts is to be highlighted and uplifted because uh, without them, we can't do this work. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Graciela. And congratulations, Santiago. Thank you. I'd like, like now to invite uh, Dr. Olga Arellano Sims with Sacramento City Unified School District. Uh, good evening and muy buenas tardes. Y es un honor estar aquí con ustedes. It's an honor to be here with all of you. And today I'm just elated and just so happy to see the celebration and this happening for our California students. It is with great enthusiasm that we recognize these wonderful multilingual scholars representing diverse languages and cultures. And despite the challenges our students and families have, have faced in the last three years, our students have prevailed. They have shown their grit and motivation to continue to achieve what some thought was impossible. Our students are resilient learners that continue to teach us how to be better educators. For this, we thank them today. Nuestros estudiantes nos han mostrado motivación, perseverancia, y siguen adelante mostrándonos a, a, a nosotros cómo ser mejores, mejores educadores. Y por eso les damos las gracias hoy. Additionally, we want to acknowledge our 277 scholars that have earned their seal of illiteracy and have made a special mark in our system. Our work also centers around, excuse me, our work also centers around celebrating and amplifying English learners' success. And today we are proud of 147 English learners and, and RFEP students that have achieved their seal of biliteracy. We are representing 13 languages, 37 seals earned by the SCOE language exam. And of course, we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge Mutsihula Shafiq, a scholar who earned the seal in Dari, Farsi, and Pashto. Así que estamos celebrando también a Masi, que es de la Escuela Luther Burbank High School, que ha obtenido su, su honor hoy en tres idiomas, Dari, Farsi, y Pashto. También les queremos dar las gracias a todas las familias que han apoyado a nuestros estudiantes, a los maestros, a todo, a todo el personal de las escuelas y también del distrito que sigue apoyando a estos estudiantes. And of course, we want to acknowledge our families, our teachers, support staff, administrators, board members, superintendents in Sac City who have supported our scholars. And we would want them to know, even though they're not here, and they would like me to say to you that even though they're not here, they are extremely proud of you, of every single one of you for your success. You are integral and we want to continue to support you beyond high school. So please join me in applauding our students today and congratulations. Y muchísimas gracias por estar aquí, por dejarme hoy celebrar a nuestros estudiantes. Mil gracias, Dr. Sims. Gracias por ese mensaje en uh, bilingüe, right? Nice, uh, very nice way of demonstrating the capacity of being uh, multilingual and being able to switch from one language to the other language in a beautiful transition manner. Thank you very much and congratulations, Sacramento City Unified School District Scholars. And now I'd like to invite uh, Dr. McKibbin with San Juan Unified School District to uh, Tell us about San Juan students. It's an honor and a privilege on behalf of the San Juan Unified School District Board, uh, Board of Directors to be here today to acknowledge the amazing students who are graduating with the seal of bioliteracy. These students are set to be leading the way as they enter college and careers with tremendous advantage in being culturally and linguistically advanced. They worked extremely hard to earn this distinction even while uh, learning through extraordinary circumstances, they perse persevered and su succeeded. At San Juan, we couldn't be more proud of our graduating seniors 
who have earned and combined a combined total of, two, of more than 200 seals this year. Each year, we are impressed at the variety of languages our students bring. Last year, we were proud to test in 11 languages. This year, that number has grown to 16 different languages tested. 76 of the seal of bioliteracy earners came to San Juan classified as English learners, eventually as they were reclassified as highly proficient, and now they have earned the seal of bioliteracy. 10 of our students earned the seal of bioliteracy in two languages, uh, and, and more than two languages, and two students earned the bio, uh, uh, seal of bioliteracy in three or more languages. What an amazing accomplishment and a tribute to them, their families, and their teachers that supported them along the way. I would like to take a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about the importance of this remarkable achievement signified by the uh, seal of bioliteracy. My experiences living, traveling, and working in nearly 50 countries has taught me about the importance of language, world languages, and the opportunities that are your gifts of language ability provide you as you move forward. For two years, I had the opportunity and challenge to work in India speaking in Hindi and Urdu on a day-to-day -day basis. My language capacity opened new worlds, helped me expand the capacities and possibilities uh, and, and help the capacities and possibilities of the farmers and young people, as well as them honoring, honoring them as people and of their cultures. It was life-changing for me, and hopefully it will be for, for you as, as it was for them. My and your language capacity can open new adventures and add an amazing skill set uh, to your abilities and frankly make you much more employable as exciting careers that you uh, might choose, such as technology, sales, communication, medicine, communication, and like me, agricultural and education. For me, language capacity connects you to the world, brings you closer to others, opens your eyes, brings new appreciations and great adventures. If you keep learning, exploring, and using the languages that you have achieved, new vistas can be your horizon. Thank you to all of the teachers, classmates, tutors, mentors, counselors, parents who have helped you achieve the language capacity that you have and, and made you persist, triumph through making mistakes, trying again and again. My first language teacher, as I learned and, or more correctly, tried to learn my first language, which was Latin, that's almost 60 years ago, was Bessie Power. Yes, I still remember her name. I won't be surprised if you remember one or more of the name of your world language teachers 60 years from now. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. McKibben, for emphasizing the importance and the beautiful profession as teachers that we hold and for uplifting the, um, the teacher, your for first world language teacher. So thank you to all of our teachers as well. And congratulations, San Juan Unified School District Scholars. I'd like to now invite um, Rosina Kirkman with Twin Rivers Unified School District. Good evening, everybody, and thank you, uh, Graciela. My name is Rosina Kirkland. I'm the coordinator of English Learner Services for Twin Rivers Unified School District. And it is a great honor to be here tonight to congratulate the students of Twin Rivers for their high achievement in earning the state seal of biliteracy. Um, I would like to share with you some of the pride we have of the students that have earned this honor Tonight, so overall, we had 103 students um, accomplish earning the seal of biliteracy, representing 10 of our um, languages that we offered. What we want to note is that of those 103, 47 of those students challenged one of two language exams, either the SCOE language exam or within our own district, our Twin Rivers language exam. So congratulations to those 47 students that asked those um, highly um, challenging exams. Also to note, we are proud of the 56 students that earned the seal of biliteracy through the AP exam. That is an even grander um, you know, achievement because these students have spent years working on the language in an AP format 
and having to pass that extremely difficult test. So congratulations to you as well. Of all of those students, we have five students that we are very proud of tonight who have earned the seal of biliteracy in two or more languages. Um, I would like to highlight for um, one student in particular, Hasina Diabdu Ramhimzi. She is from Foothill High School and she has earned the seal in three languages, um, Dari, Farsi, and Pashto. So congratulations to Hasina. We have two other students from Foothill High School representing two languages of Dari and Farsi, and that is Hosai Popal and Lida Yaftali. Congratulations to the two of them. From Rio Linda High School, we had two students earn the um, seal of literacy in both Spanish and French, Bruno Guerrero and Nazaret Navarrete. We are so proud of both of you. And in fact, I wanna actually mention Bruno is an interesting story because Bruno had shown up only to take one test and in the middle of testing asked if he could take a second test. And if he had not been asked to do that, he wouldn't have earned a second seal tonight. So congratulations for advocating for yourself, Bruno, that you wanted to take that exam in two different languages. We are very proud of you. Um, so, you know, we wanna share also that in Twin Rivers Unified School District, 83 of these recipients were former English learners, and we're very proud to see how they've worked so hard to develop both languages and accomplish this goal. And not to, to shine, not shine light on the other 20, because the 20 students who are English only also powered through learning a second language and achieving this goal tonight. So it is students like those English only students that I'm very proud of because, you know, without challenging yourself, you may not have had the opportunity to earn this. And one student in particular reached out to me and thanked me personally, because he said if he hadn't done this, he would receive no other awards um, his senior year. So congratulations to all of our students in Twin Rivers Unified School District. We are very, very honored to have you here tonight and accomplishing this award. Thank you. Thank you, Rosina. Congratulations to Toon Rivers Unified School District scholars and also for highlighting the fact that behind those numbers are the life and the, the story of the students that make this an important aspect of this recognition. And yes, the state seal of file literacy is for all students, not only for English learners, but we're definitely very proud of our English learners for uh, being able to uh, power through and um, maintain their culture, their language, and then um, now be recognized today. Now uh, we have from Visions in Education, Christopher Smith. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it is such an honor to be able to be here and uh, just talk through the importance and just uh, celebrate our Vision seniors that have earned the uh, state seal of literacy uh, recognition. Um, I've been doing the, this on the back end for about three years, and this is my first year of actually being here uh, in person for this event. And just what wonderful messages from the keynote speakers, uh, just to be able to hear about the uh, just the importance of multilingualism. Um, but first, I'd like to just reach out and say thank you to uh, SCOE, to Graciela and the SCOE team for making this a uh, possibility for our students at Visions. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it without you. And uh, also, just all of our families uh, that are out there and our students that are out there and teachers and counselors, and administrators, um, just thank you for, for your support for our students. Um, Additionally, just uh, the assessment team for getting uh, the communication out there to all of our uh, students to make this make this work. Um, lastly, I'd like to thank our uh, superintendent, Dr. Uh, Steve Olmos, for his support uh, uh, of this em endeavor. But most importantly, I want to just uh, shout out and congratulate our 40 students that earned this award. Uh, this recognition shows that not only are our students proficient in English, but in additional language. Um, students uh, at Visions, um, I mean, we hold this in high regard because it also is a measurement of college and career readiness. Uh, so that's important to us at, at Visions and also should be uh, a great uh, achievement for the students as well to be seen. Additionally, 
Organizationally, we, we think of this as a high achievement because it celebrates the diversity of Visions Education. We, you can see by our uh, numbers that we've increased the amount of languages uh, for the past uh, three years that we actually had nine different languages represented in this most recent uh, year. And that's uh, just a, um, uh, just a, a organizational achievement because it shows our uh, diversity at our school. And lastly, just again, a big congratulations to all Vision students for earning the state seal of biliteracy. What an accomplishment uh, that everyone should be a proud of. Thank you, Chris. We have, um, and congratulations to Visions and Education Scholars. We're definitely very proud of each and every one of you. In this next slide, you see the acknowledgments in our program, which I've dropped the link to the program various times. This ceremony is being recorded and will be available. But in the program on page 23, you see uh, the different uh, names of individuals that are part of what makes this um, ceremony um, in happen in terms of for students to be able to have the opportunity locally. So we want to thank definitely you, the student, for working really hard and ensuring that you have this recognition. And as uh, Shelly Spindle Coleman mentioned, which I love, this maybe, and maybe I'm, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase. So this may not be the most important uh, recognition, but it is the one that has most responsibility. And it is, as Martha Amanda said, it is the one that gives you that superpower of uh, being multilingual and being able to open doors for yourself and for others. We want to thank our teachers, our counselors and our administrators and board members for supporting the uh, multilingualism in our systems in education. And definitely our state seal um, of biodiversity coordinators at each one of the sites. You have been our champions uh, throughout these years because you are the ones that coordinate and you are the ones that find a way to put it into the system. Of course, with the language exam with SCOE, we're very strict about our process uh, and you help us make it happen for each one of the sites. And so that students have that multiple opportunities for multiple seals in the different languages. We want to thank our language examiners. This year we decided to uh, name the language that these language examiners supported in. And you can see the strength in the numbers, but also in various of these um, examiners also have multiple languages uh, in their repertoire. And we also want to thank each and every person that is our testing support. And it is those individuals that serve as proctors and ensuring that uh, they help in any way uh, where the coordinators needed that support. I have to finalize and to end uh, tonight's ceremony. We have four quotes from students just like you uh, that they've given us throughout the years. And so this uh, first quote, I've asked Rosina if she would read it out loud. And we, the hope is that uh, you feel inspired and you feel that this quote is also speaking to you. Thank you. So obtaining the state seal of biliteracy means being awarded for my hard work and dedication. And that was from Marwa Mayar. Thank you, Rosina. This next quote um, comes from Last year, we were able to um, talk about what is the seal of validity and what are your dreams with um, your, your ability to be um, multilingual. And so I have asked um, Garrett if you would please read this quote. Thank you. This is from Selena Enriquez from Elk Grove High School. Walking through the doors of the class of the courtroom would end up changing my life and help blossom a unique passion of mine. I began to recognize the power of advocacy and how activism comes in many individual and unique shapes. Thank you, Garrett. The next quote, uh, Dr. Sims will read for us. I have realized that there are narratives that deserve to be honored and preserved, and I want to be the one to do it. I plan on breaking into the journalism field with the intent to promote change. And this is from our student at Rosemont High School, Kai Ann Nguyen Lee. Thank you. And the last quote, um, Chris, please. 
All right. The issue of mental health is one of the greatest issues I see being ignored with people of color, POC communities. Ignoring the issue of mental health prevents individuals from being able to express themselves and follow dreams that may seem accomplishable. And that's from Paula Sanchez Ramirez from Cordova High School, also my alma mater. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks for reminding us of the alma mater. And with that, I again, my name is Graciela. It's my pleasure and privilege uh, to be the coordinator for the state seal of failures in the Sacramento County Office of Education. Muchísimas felicidades. Sigan trabajando por sus sueños. Let's keep speaking, um, reading, writing, and dreaming, like Marta Hernandez said, in multiple languages. Muchísimas gracias.